Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn Gay, and this is the iFixit Rundown, where I give you all the news that's happened this month at iFixit. Here's what we've been up to. Our teardown table has been full this month, and by full, I mean our tools don't have time to cool down before the next device flies in. We've opened up computers, tablets, phones, keyboards, trackpads, you name it. The most notable teardowns include the iMac Retina 4K that scored a measly one on our repairability scale, due in part to the RAM and CPU being soldered to the logic board. And the Surface Pro 4 didn't do much better. It only scored a two, but has a user replaceable SSD. We even broke into all the new iMac accessories, including the Magic Trackpad 2 with the new Taptic engine, which only got a three out of 10 on our repairability scale. And of course we love breaking into phones, so we got the new Nexus 5X and 6P. The 5X, while easy to get into, was not a heavy hitter in the impressive tech department. The 6P, on the other hand, was a beast to open, had a display that could only be replaced by disassembling the entire phone, and had tough adhesive holding the rear cover panels and battery in place. Not surprisingly, it only scored a two out of 10. Check out the complete teardowns for all these hot new devices at ifixit.com. Over at our blog, we take a trip with the creator of Foam Blocks, Dave Hawkins, to the most infamous scrapyard in the world, Agbo Gloshi. On his trip, he starts to see the famous e-waste dumping grounds in a new light. As you know, we're crazy about repair, but we know that others are a little hesitant to try repairing things themselves. If you're one of those reluctant repairers, maybe a repair cafe is just what you need to get started. We have a great story on cafes held around the world. We've spent the last year coordinating nearly a dozen repair-related exemption requests, working with lawyers from Stanford, USC, Public Knowledge, and the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This week, the Copyright Office made their decisions on which devices it would be legal to repair, modify, and hack. Their decisions were mostly good news for those in the repair world, and you can read all about it on our blog. We've got some surprises coming to our store this holiday season, and we want you to be the first to try them. So if you want to be on my gift list this year, tweet me a picture of something you fixed recently, and you may get a little gift from all of us here at iFixit. If you're subscribed to our channel, you've seen a lot of teardowns this month, and we have more coming your way, including the iPad Pro and the new Apple Pencil, whenever Apple decides to release those. As we mentioned earlier, the Copyright Office decided which of your devices are now legal to investigate, modify, and hack. Before they made their decision, we visited some local agriculture and repair professionals to see how copyright issues were affecting their lives and why it's important to fight for your right to repair. And that's your October iFixit Rundown. Make sure you keep up to date on all our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit or checking out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Happy Halloween and thanks for tuning in.